Are you looking for a fast scrap busting project? Would you like to see a variety of traditional pieced quilt blocks? Today we are diving into the nine patch block with a sampler I designed. I'm Andy, this is True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as we quilt. Here are the blocks I selected for the nine patch sampler. You can receive instructions for this full quilt by signing up in the video description below. Let's start with the classic nine patch block, a checkerboard made from alternating light and dark squares. You can make this block as large or as small as you desire because every piece is the same size and shape. So have fun playing in your fabrics and choosing different combinations with this block. The Friendship Star is a great beginner block to introduce half square triangles. You see it's still a two color block, so again, you can make things as scrappy as you want with those lights and darks and just place the half square triangles around the center square to make the points of your star. Our next block is the snowball, another two color quilt block. I've changed the placement of the half square triangles and put them in the corners so that the center of the block is a solid color and you can either make dark snowballs with light corners or light snowballs with dark corners. The shoe fly quilt block is another nine patch block that incorporates four half square triangles. Keep the triangles and the center square the same color and Contrast that with a background fabric to make this classic block. The zigzag block uses nine half square triangles to create a chevron or lightning bolt pattern. Next, we have a ring block, which is very similar to the snowball, except I changed the center. So this block actually has three fabrics, or you could make the center the same as those darker corners of the snowball and just use a light and a dark with one square and the corners the same fabric. One of my all-time favorite nine patch blocks is the split nine patch. It uses three half square triangles along one diagonal three dark fabrics on one side and three light fabrics on the opposite side. You can go as scrappy as you want with this block. I made an entire quilt that was all scrappy, so every block in every nine patch was different and that was a lot of fun. I will put a link down below for some layout options for the split nine patch block. I created a flock block for the nine patch sampler. This looks very similar to a group of flying geese blocks, but it's constructed with half square triangles. I used three different fabrics for my block, but you could do all the triangle sections with the same fabric. So then you would just need two fabrics, a main print and the background fabric. You'll make six half square triangles with your print and background, and then you will need three solid squares of the background fabric to make the flock block. The last block in our nine patch sampler is the disappearing nine patch. This wild and crazy block starts as a traditional nine patch and then you slice it through the center which gives you four smaller blocks that you can rearrange into a variety of different layouts. 
sew the patches back together, and we have the last block in our sampler. Sampler quilts can be put together with or without sashing and borders. Make the size quilt that fits your purpose. Add additional borders to increase the size. Add more blocks to make your quilt larger. Or just pick a few of your favorites for smaller projects like table runners or wall hangings. If you would like detailed instructions, make sure to look at the description below the video and you can find a link to the email pattern for this nine patch sampler. Watch the video below to see how I made a nine patch quilt block dance and click the subscribe button so that you never miss a video where I share weekly inspiration for your quilting journey.